Ah, yes, making a video. Uh, what the fuck video, actually? Yes. <laughs> and they're piling up. Um, for a big number. Um, so I might stop doing them. <laughs> yeah, because there's really nothing to report on. It's just, just not kind of the thing that's anything happening. But maybe that'll change. There's some stuff going on. Who knows? Uh, so we'll hang in there a bit longer. Um, yeah, I mean, milestones are kind of for silly people anyway. Uh, it's almost like superstition, you know, doing something on a round number. What's the difference? It's all the same shit. Um, yeah, it's all the same shit. Um, just different day and such. Uh, flowers. These are very poofy. Anyway, we don't need to know that. Oh, that one's really poofy over there. Poofy. Um, anyway, yeah, somebody made some poofter comment because I had uh, paint on my nails. <laughs> yeah, uh, primer. It's just a really good primer I was painting, you know, sort of house painting stuff. And uh, primer was really good. Um, I mean, it really stuck to my fingernails. Anyway. Um, yeah, people just make such you know, snarky comments. Anyway, anyway, I just kind of avoid the subject. So I really don't want to talk about that. Um, it is what it is. The world is what it is. You have to deal with it the way it is. People are the way they are. You have to communicate with them. Um, and what the best approach is. I don't know. We'll find out. It's a very antique looking. It's a very pale. Very interesting. Anyway. I know it's not interesting to you. Just, uh, I sprayed this one. I had a caterpillar on it the other day. Just eating all my flowers. It's, it'll be doing that. I don't know. Anyway, um, see, it's too distracting. If I'm in the garden, it's too distracting. Not a good place to make a video from for me. Uh, but you know, just you know, it's all. It's been pretty fruitful looking anyway. Uh, tomatoes are a little disappointing. I got some blight. I got a couple of good ones still. A big one there. But, uh, yeah, not exactly what it should have been. Um, yeah. These little portulacas are interesting. Anyway, <laughs> it really is it's nice back here. So I ought to just sit down and finish this video. Um, mosquitoes, i got to watch out for, though. Uh, yeah, I had my hearing back for 20 minutes, and it was just amazing. Uh, you know, so the good news is, is it, you know, it's clearly not permanent damage. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, I haven't heard real sound frequencies, high frequencies for over a month, and uh, just the crunching of my feet. It was just, uh, you know, it's just amazing. Um, it's amazing with your brain, you know, how it acclimates. And after 20 minutes or so, I was already taking it for granted. You know, like, uh, <laughs> the newness was starting to already wear off. Uh, you know, I was already accustomed. Um, sorry, I just noticed some things that didn't quite get enough water. That's the downside. This whole gardening thing has an awful lot of watering to be done. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh boy. Um, um, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going to get to a subject of some kind. The nihilist thing is just lingering out there. You know, the new metamorph outed himself, so to speak. He was he had already outed himself. I mean, I already knew this about metamorph. It was already a problem. Sort of like the derived energy problem. Um, you know, I, I, <laughs> you know I, I just don't understand this, this whole notion of declaring your own philosophy null and void, and then arguing philosophy. I mean, if, if you're going to say there's no reality to value, then you might as well just say, fuck the conversation. There's absolutely no reason to have the conversation if you don't think there's a truth underlying all the bullshit. 
And if you don't think it's really an absolute truth that causing unnecessary harm is bad, then fuck you, shut up. Um, it's, just, it's too fucking silly. I don't even know why people are doing it. I can't for the life of me understand it except for from a motivational point of view. I mean, I can understand why people evade the truth because it's unpleasant. But I can't understand how you would do it for any kind of logical, principled, rational reason. You've personally experienced sensations. There's no doubt about the reality. There's no doubt about the qualitative aspect of them. I mean, it's just, it's just absolutely insane for me to say, from my perspective, I mean, I can't see anything else but insanity in the idea that I would say, oh, it's okay if I spent eternity with somebody shoving a nail in and out of my eye. I just, it's just, that's a ludicrous proposition. It's just absolutely ludicrous that it could possibly be true that that would be just fine. Yeah, there's no way that could be just fine. Uh, anyway, I, I you know, but, uh, you're just, you, you know, besides having all these religious kooks, you know, you have these nihilist kooks. It's just everybody's a kook, but it's sort of true. Unfortunately, people are all crazy, and it's, uh, you know, it's hard to imagine, well, they're, they're crazy, so how is reason going to work on them, Gary? Yeah, that's a problem. So, I don't know exactly what to do about it, but we'll see. So, I guess I won't uh, drag this out too much. That's what I'm stuck with, is arguments. Um, no one else is making anything called a rational counter-argument about how life redeems itself in some way, how it could possibly, how we as individuals could possibly do something to justify the harm some of us have to endure. Um, just no way, there's just no way to, to, to justify imposing on um, the victims who recognize themselves as victims. I mean, Clearly, there was slaves who didn't mind being a slave. You know, they thought it was a good job. <laughs> you know, they, um, you know, couldn't could they, they? I guess they bought into the superiority argument and um, thought they were doing just fine. And I guess there's you know silly humans who think uh, you know because some people um, have such a lust for life and a lust for perceiving themselves as winners, that they'll, you know, no matter what happens, they'll say it's okay, it's worth it. And because there's some people that do that, it's okay to presume that all the other victims who said, no, oh, this was a big waste of fucking goddamn <laughs> um, amino acids. <laughs> you know, I should have, you know, the millions of people who killed themselves, I mean, they're somehow, uh, oh, well, they're just idiots, you know, because they didn't understand how it was all worth it, you know. So we can negate their victimhood, but you could just didn't say, hey, no, they just don't know what they're talking about. And I'm doing the same thing in, in reverse, but I'm just saying I think it's, uh, I think my argument's better than an argument, plain and simple. I think the optimism bias is more likely than the pessimism bias. I don't think there is such a thing as a pessimism bias. That you um, could possibly uh, be bigoted against, you know, lollipops or something. Well, you, you know, it's just very hard to want things to be tragically awful and to somehow profit from that perception when we know that wouldn't be the. There just wouldn't be an incentive, and so the fact is, is that the. The rational people are saying, shit, yes, this was god-awful. <laughs> yes, I lost my leg in the war, and it sucks. It's, there's no fucking silver lining. It's just shit. It sucked. It was painful. It was horrible. You know, they're just not going to sit there and pretend to make up some bullshit about how it's all okay. No, it's not. Uh, yeah, that's almost a video. Ah, it's enough, I suppose. So, anyway, I'm just um, a bit discouraged and all that kind of stuff, as I've pointed out. Uh, it's getting tedious. 
physics thing is rolling along, I mean, I am getting at least better numbers on the thumbs up and thumbs down thing, if that means anything. Uh, <laughs> you know, which, you know, it obviously doesn't, but... Um, and uh, the comments are still a little bit strange, but what are you going to do? Oh, that lovely color. Yeah, anyway... <clears throat> uh, Yeah, so just, uh, just keep plugging away. Um, I think the uh, trying to, yeah, I'm trying to remember this. Uh, there'll be a website, you know, ethelist.com, ethelism.com. I think it's ethelism. I forget already. Well, anyway, one of those will have a website soonish, and um, you know, links and whatnot, and some kind of crap that people complain about. And, <laughs> yeah, what else? Um, the old fan is doing the, the mm, anti-natalism news kind of thing. A weekly uh, um, thing. So, uh, yeah, so, I mean, more incentive, more reason for me to say, hey, I don't have to do this anymore. Because I'm not terribly interested. <laughs> yeah, I'm really... Um, I wish other people were making great arguments or doing some great stuff, but they're just not. You know, it's all kind of... Yeah, it's just all kind of discouraging. So that's all I can say. Yeah, it's all kind of discouraging. But anyway. Um, okay, so I guess that's it. Uh, I don't think there's anything there. Mosquitoes. Yeah, I thought there'd be... You know, it's, we've had quite a drought here, which is my kind of thing. Um, yeah, so that's, that part's good. It's just been little subtle things that are bad, but, you know, just life in general. Um, they've kind of, you know, taken the edge off the goodness of it all. My ability to enjoy it. More like the being deaf thing and stuff like that. Don't forget me that. I think it's a little run of flowers here. And yeah, see all the tomatoes got the blight. Blight, 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 blight. All blighty. Yeah, I guess I'll have to do some inquiries into, you know, how to prevent that. It used to be simple in the old days. You just grew stuff and it grew. It just seems like it's a lot. It doesn't just grow anymore. It seems you gotta, you gotta have some sort of magic tricks. Anyway, it's just one of the, you know, it's one of those times when everything seems you know, not to be going exactly the way it needs to go. Uh, it's like keeping every project I work on. It's just kind of like it's supposed to be take 15 minutes and it takes three hours because you know I touch something and everything else breaks. You know, it's gotta, oh whatever, I'm just complaining. Fuck that. So anyway. Anything else important to mention? Um, I don't think so. So anyway, so I'll do. So two, well, I saw the Piero room. Okay, yeah, I could just mention that real quick. Some of it anyway. And, um, you know, start off with the feminism subject. Uh, then they talked about video games. Uh, and then they talked about conspiracy theories. Uh, and then they were talking about security software or something and whatever. Yeah, so anyway, it's just totally, I'm totally not interested in subjects. So, <coughs> it fascinated me not. But the good news, it didn't provoke me to say anything either, so I don't have to waste my time arguing about what a fucking idiot they all are. They're just irrelevant and uninteresting. An easier argument to make. Yeah. No. All right. So that's it. Get about our evening chores. Eating and such. So. Till
Till next time. Lovely. Hummingbird. Yay. Yay. These are funny. There's funny little hummingbirds this year. So they'll actually perch. They perch on the wire. They perch on things. I've just never seen them being so perchy. So it's been sort of interesting.